The boy is back with Daughters of Ash, everyone. Hello, hello. It's been quite a while since I've gotten around to playing an episode of this game. Um, but we're gonna do this. I don't know what we're gonna do. I have one Estes Flask. And I really want to go back to the last bonfire. I think that's what we talked about at the end of the previous episode. That I'm gonna pop my last Homeward Bone to get back. I think that's the safest option here. Anyways. I don't know why I said anyways. I have three humanities. Ah, I won't waste it. I do have 22,000 souls though. Which is enough for quite a bit. You know what? Fuck it, we're gonna level up our HP because shit, this game doesn't make it easy on, you know, your HP bar. So I feel like, god damn. It's already going, it's already going pretty poorly. In fact, it's going poorly enough that I'm gonna reset. We'll forget the last 20 seconds existed. So anyways, welcome back everyone to... Uh, Daughters of Ash. People have been begging for this series and I am always one to deliver. Uh, but yeah. Gotta be careful. Did he just make... I never... Oh, come on. Are you serious? Is there no way to avoid that? You gotta use a range attack. <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck here. I'm gonna be stuck here the entire episode. You should... Seriously? Oh, I feel like this game is out for me. It has its fangs out. Like, did you see that? He... By he, I mean the little hollow fell down the stairs. Causing me... A tiny bit of damage staggering me, allowing both him and the bloated fucker to get hits in. Like, listen. This this game is on that 5G tower bullshit. You know. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, but the 5G tower... That's, that's like the stupidest thing I've... I think I've ever heard. Um, if you don't know what it is, consider yourself lucky. Well, there are legit functional adult humans in the world who believe that 5G towers are causing the coronavirus, um, which is... It's quite amazing. Mainly... Excuse me? Listen, the, the, listen, I gotta, I gotta know this. First of all, I'm going up there on a request. Uh, people were requesting that I drop down on the demon from way up the top. But listen, I've been wondering, like, did they just increase the damage of everything in this mod? Because, like, maybe it's just, like, my perspective is skewed because of the the lower HP but to me like look at like look at that like to me it seems everything does like I don't know like 20% more damage okay <laughs> GG's uh, like 20% more damage I don't know again that could be I cannot believe they actually burp I can't believe I missed the item like an idiot uh, yeah everything seems to do like 20% more damage I think where did you come from? Okay. It's gonna be one of those. It's gonna be one of those episodes. I can already tell. I just wanted to get that item. I didn't know these two spawn as well. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those. Yeah. We better be prepared. So yeah, back to my original topic, the 5G coronavirus thing, like, 
like again, like I wonder how these people made it. However many years they've been living, uh, like simply how they made it to adulthood. If you think that a cell tower can cause a viral infection, well, they don't even think it's caused by the viral infection. They think it's like actually radiation sickness or some stupid thing like that, which really just proves that these people like literally don't know anything about anything. Like they don't know. Oh, okay. That's cool. They don't know jack shit about biology, like chemistry, phys like whatever scientific subject. These people don't know jack shit about it. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's kind of how every conspiracy ever has functioned. Okay. These boys have to like get off my ass. And by these boys I mean the fucking uh the crows. What are you kidding me? Okay, aggro ranges are definitely buffed in this game. Or in this mod. I mean look at this. Even the one spouting fire is like aggroed still on me. <sighs> Why did I even agree to do this mod? I'm only kidding. Okay, wonderful. I was gonna say that's gonna happen just as it was happening. This is the constant issue though, like how do I make it back? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? He just straight up... <sighs> he just straight up goes through the fucking... I'm running for it. I don't even give a shit, we're gonna speed run this. We're not gonna speed run this. Like, this is unbelievable. Uh, I think I've forgotten how to play Souls games. I think I've just, like, lost all of it. But really, like, this is, like, this mod, I'm pretty sure there's something going on. Like, I've never had this much trouble. Like, this area is the same as it always been. Like, look, look at how much damage that deals. Okay, maybe I'm just going crazy, but... It really does feel like it sometimes. Like the aggro ranges are extended, the damage is... I don't know. I haven't actually like checked the full list of all the changes in this mod. Uh, I will admit that. Maybe I'm... J again, maybe I'm just going crazy. Just want to get to the fucking top. I just want to plunging attack this bitch. And by this bitch I mean this demon. And then... Probably nothing is going to happen. Okay. I already failed. Maybe I did not. Because if they're going to like be aggroed like that. Yes, I think they're killing themselves. This is can actually cannot actually fly. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't work. At least we know it. Um, hope that satisfied everybody's curiosity. I think you can do it from not the top and it will work normally. Uh, because I've seen places where I can definitely picture myself plunging off and hitting him. Uh, so I think we're gonna do this normally. And get out of this fucking area because I've literally done nothing this entire episode.
These are these are trades that are not worth it. In terms of like how much HP I'm losing. I mean that's the thing though, like uh just speaking of how the game works, like increased aggro ranges are definitely a way to He like didn't take jack shit damage. Okay, you know what? You are okay, it's locked away. Are we seriously doing this right now? Am I seriously fighting the uh, what's his name? The demon fire sage. It's all good. He always is, he's taking more damage from like normal hits than the plunging attack I did. And these enemies are not difficult, honestly. It's just weird, you know, not having the boss music, the HP bar. How the hell did you get here, though? This is probably gonna drop some soul with a lore explanation. I'm hoping, because... This shit hell don't make sense. Yeah, I was gonna gonna say uh, the camera is fucked up. <sighs> How long have I been going? Jesus, 12 minutes. Well, we're gonna be here uh, entertaining ourselves with the Demon Fire Sage. I think I gotta kill him. Definitely gotta kill him to like unlock the next stage of this place. As in the shortcut back, which is really the crucial, like the most crucial thing here. Eek shit, bitch. Fuck, he has a lot of HP. Like that, that. That did 700 damage, and it barely dented his HP bar. This is fucked up, the camera. Oh man. Although the camera is fucked up in the OG Demon Fire Sage fight as well. That shit gets like caught in the branches and shit. Okay, I think we're doing okay. Please keep doing this attack. Cool. I think one more. Yes. Winged Chaos Mode. Okay, how the hell did you end up here? Uh, oh yeah, these are at the end. Winged Chaos Mode. The corpulent Flying Demons, blah blah blah. Oh, okay, then it says the same thing. Demon's Catalyst. Demon's Catalyst is... unimpressive. Okay, it's locked. Yeah, because you gotta go down. I remember how this area works. Of course, the twist here is that we're trapped in this place. Technically. Like, we gotta commit to this bitch. There's no other... There's no other choice. I was really hoping this wasn't locked. If this was locked, I would have been... Okay, hello. If this was locked, I would have been so pissed. Okay, there's a lot of you. We'll look over into the cemetery. Uh, what 
are those? What the hell? Is something... Oh shit, it's... What's... Berenique Knights. I think that's what they're called. And of course we have the Phalanx. Whoa! Excuse. That's a major excuse. I'm reversing my hollowing. I'm taking a big risk here because you know how reversing my hollowing has worked out so far throughout this playthrough. <clears throat> it's not been going well. Where did all those, all those hollows come from? Okay. Um. There's like some weird noise here, just in this area. Okay. Okay, I'm already getting fucked. Did one of them fall off? I think one of them. <laughs> I think, yes. One of them has decided to end it. And uh, these fuckers can heal too. I gotta be careful. It's like actually not easy. Because you always fight these guys one on one. And my leg is itching. Uh, okay. That was a nice, like, counter. Right, I should get the Leo ring. Okay, I think we're gonna. We'll, we'll agree to let ourselves heal for this final battle. This should better be worth it. Again, I can imagine them trolling and there not being anything here. Titan. Oh, three Titan. Okay. I take back. It's really strange. I've never noticed this. That there's like some like creepy sound. Like music. That is really strange. Because the rest of the area does not have this. As far as I know. It's really interesting. Muy interesante. Huh. I'll look it up. Reddit slash r slash Dark Souls probably has some explanation. Maybe it's just to highlight the creepiness of the area. With all those like corpses and shit. I don't remember what's over here. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go back. I've been to this bonfire like 50 times just in this episode. Uh, but with five Estus, you know. We ain't got... Much healing to spare. That was a very interesting interaction. Can I? Yeah, it's gonna mid-roll me. But... The idea itself is not bad. Hold on. Did they take out the ladder? Shit. Or is this not the place? Oh, and there's gonna be bone wheels out the ass in this place. 
I don't remember which of these is a fog gate and which of them is not. Oh, fuck you, game. Where did he come from? Oh. I knew it. I knew they were gonna do this. Oh, and these are stronger bone wheels too than in the catacombs or the bone chimney or whatever. Whew, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Oh fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Somehow I'm not dead. Are they dead? They're dead. Oh, I hate bone wheels. Black flame. And high HP bone wheels are... Real motherfuckers. Uh, this is... The annex key. Okay, that that's the thing that leads. This is where normally that shitty pyromancy is. Are you fucking kidding me? They have NPC invaders. I did not know this. I think this is this is for sure the first NPC invader we've encountered, and for sure in the worst location possible because I'm like a hundred percent sure there are oh motherfucker look at him yes okay my dog is like really going crazy uh, well no actually this is not the first NPC invader we've encountered because we've seen man eater Mildred she's the same That weapon has a deceptively long range. Is that the winged spear? I think that might be. But this motherfucker has no poise though. So he's got that not going for him. Excelente. Wicked Delis. I got them humes. And the bone wheel should. I kind of, I kind of thought. I know for a fact that you know. Uh, don't know where I read this or heard this that. The makers of this mod specifically said that one of the things they wanted, is uh, to, allow access to the, to the like extremely rare items, or like less known items for the player. Uh, like, you know, for example, giving you the bone wheel shield from an invader, whereas the bone wheel shield is a massive pain in the ass to get. But as I'm babbling on, there's like 50 fucking bone wheels here. Yep. And it's almost guaranteed that I am muy dead to keep the Spanish influence going. Okay, fuck you guys. I'm getting... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so evil. Like, this is... Sometimes this is too evil. Go, go. Why is that still hitting me? <sighs> I have, like, souls that heal me, don't I? Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Restore his HP. I'm gonna pop like 50 of these. I can hear them going crazy down there. It would be really shitty to die now. Because I just noticed I have 54,000 HP. I mean souls. Where does this lead though? The annex key. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. Before we go anything else, we hella... Oh, this game! 
<sighs> it's stressful. Like, this is the most stressful Dark Souls experience I've had in a long time. You know what? I'm gonna go full scrub mode. I level up only my HP and endurance. <clears throat> I have to check out what this is. That must really suck. Like you can literally, you can literally, like get stuck. Because if you don't have the annex key, how do you get back to the bonfire? I'm sure there's another way. But still, it kind of feels like a dick move. Speaking of dick moves, these enemies. I don't know if I should go to this Velka area or not. I mean, one of the things I want to do is like... Are you fucking kidding me? Did you see... I mean... This has got to be... Those are actually like four headshots in a row, I think. It's unbelievable. All for this item, I think. I'm pretty sure there ain't anything else here. Oh wait, this is here. Oh no, this is where I came from. I got you. This has come together cohesively in my head. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The fact that I got foreshotted by headshots I think really proves my point of I'm getting like fucked over by this game. On purpose, I think. This is only, of course, a joke. But is it though? Sometimes it sure as hell doesn't feel like that. I wasn't able to... Oh, fuck. Oh, who the hell is this? There's just a dude here. Oh, I know what this is. I hella know what this is. There was some cut content in the game. Which involved the... Uh, like one of the sealers. I remember this. Uh, I think Vati had, of course, who else? Had a lore video on it. Or like some cut content video. I seem to remember it. Painted catalyst. Okay, that's a new... That's a new thing. We'll check it out. Catalyst of one of the sealers of New Londo, yeah. Who parted ways after their grim work in the flooded city. The flecks of paint along its length appear to enhance its physical strength, but at the cost of durability. Interesting. That's what he was hitting me with. It's like a bit of a BDSM weapon, if you ask me. You know, like this. Okay. Okay, you're going to eat a fucking fireball for sure. I said you're going to eat a fucking fireball for sure. What up? Okay, there's a lot of you. There's way way more of you than there than I thought. And I'm dead. Hmm. Pleasant. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Uh yeah, a couple of minutes. Ah, this area, man. And the thing is, this is an a kind of an assholeish area in the vanilla game as well, I would say. I kind of don't want to leave 
12,000 souls up there. So I'm going to try getting it. Try being the keyword. Try being the keyword of this entire series so far. These fools are hella going to follow me. Yep. Don't worry. Got these expert tactics. Ouch. Yeah, it really must be like a perception thing. Because... I think enemies do the same amount of HP damage. It's just... Having your HP be cut is like a drastic... As I said, it's like... Thank you, Doom Thief's soul. Eat shit, crows. I don't think you can come in here, can you? They can definitely come in here. Uh, another one has managed to kill itself. And I'm gonna kill you. What are the chances it's gonna command grab me and kill me immediately? I mean, hi, but... You know... What isn't high? That was a wee joke if you didn't get it. Not even a wee joke. Um, listen, I am taking... This is Scrub City, if you ask me. I.E. I'm not risking jack shit. I think I killed all of them already. Hallowed Ember. That's gonna be interesting. And... A white Titanite. Chonko. Okay. I would really like to get out of here. I think that's what we're gonna go. We're gonna make this episode a little bit longer. Just cause the first few minutes were so useless. I feel bad, you know. I feel bad leaving it here. Uh, we'll check out this hallowed whatever. I'm pretty sure it's just the... Um, whatever the upgraded version of the Divine Ember is. Oh wait, but actually that doesn't have... Wait. No, 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 It's there is a large Divine Ember, something like that. Uh, embers, embers, embers. Sacred White Ember infused with the remains of Sen's discarded soul. Tradition dictates that a deity's soul fire must be handled only by a truly revered, reverent blacksmith. Interesting. I like that Sen is actually someone who has a bit of backstory. Because that was just, you know, something that never ever got any explanation. You know, Sen is just Sen. And I can already tell there's going to be some bullshit on this bridge. Like, my bullshit meter is on high alert, you know. Oh my god. The tracking, though. It's like a fucking heavy sniper shot in Fortnite. Look at that, that curve. Heat seeking, equipped with the latest heat seeking technology, you know. Oh. Oh, it's just, okay. That's not too bad. I was like, what the fuck is that up there? But it's just one of those giants. Which ain't the worst. To be honest with you, is it gonna like drop down behind me? It's not. Listen, if I get a chance to get out of here, I'm assuming the boss fight for this works. Oh, hello. Are you okay? Who art thou? One of us thou art not. Oh, she's creepy. Okay, this is this is she's way too anime. I ain't never seen her from this close. Her face. Like, thou must return this land. I 
God damn. She's scarier than Lisa from fucking PT. Those are some like dead eyes. Anyways, peace out. We're going. Uh, if you think I'm staying in here and fighting her, no chance. I'll come back, I think. But at the rate this is going, it's going to take like 60 episodes to finish this. I'm going to be here like till next year. So anyways, I like the noise. <sighs> Why am I yawning? Anyways, this is going to put me in outside. Yep. And we are going to book it. Book it back to the bonfire. This was an interesting episode. Again, like without sounding like a 5G conspiracy theorist. It really does feel like this game has it out for me. Do you see those four headshots in a row? Man. Back fuck, this is still like this i.e. this bonfire is still here because I can say that I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls Daughters of Ash it certainly has been an interesting one and I guess next time we will continue in Anorlanda I feel like we cleared the place out pretty well the Titanite chunks were a nice addition I, I'm appreciative of that all we gotta do now is get the very large ember. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and peace out. See you.